Hey guys, this is Blueset. How's it going? Welcome to a brand new episode of Pokemon Yellow Nuzlocke. So today we're going to actually be doing some more stuff. Uh, more specifically, we got our new team member on the last episode, um, Elric. And yes, last episode was a real episode. Unfortunately, it had to be uploaded on April 1st. That was a my fault on that part. Yes, it was. But Elric is going to be our good flying type Pokemon, and we're going to be using him for when we go to Viridian Forest. Alrighty, so let's head over to Viridian Forest now. And was there an actual item? No. Okay. Alrighty. Now he is level three, but he shouldn't have any problems dealing with um, any of the Pokemon there. We don't have enough money to buy more antidotes like I want to, but that's okay. I know there's a couple item balls there, but whatever. Let's see here, you have to roam far to get new kinds of Pokemon. Look for other types outside of Viridian Forest. Ah, thank you. And are you going to Viridian Forest? Be careful, it's a natural ma uh, maze. Okay. Alright, Viridian Forest with some friends. They're out for Pokemon fights. Oh, okay. Now, I do know that we can get ourselves a Caterpie. Oh yeah, here's a last. Hi. Do you have a Pikachu? Yes, I do. She always wants a Pikachu. Last wants to fight. Okay. Nigger and female. Oh, okay. Looks like I'm going to do like a... Ooh. Okay. Only four points of damage. Not enough. Uh, let me just do one more for him. And then I'll switch him out. Alright, there you go. Now, who am I going to put in? Uh, let's put in Slade. Yeah, Slade would be good for this. Now, considering Nidoran Fimo is a poison type, I don't have any Pokemon with ground type moves yet. So, we're going to be doing some quick attacks. Ooh, good job. Hmm. So, Viridian Forest has, um, for yellow version, you're more likely to get uh, Caterpies than you are of Weedles. Although there is Weedles, it's like a very rare chance you get them. Like, uh, like a small percentile of catching a, uh, a Weedle. Or a little uh, encountering one. And of course a Nidoran male. Let's actually put out um, Elric again so he gets some um, experience again. Of course, both level 6s. I hope he doesn't have a... Well... Hmm. Lear is uh, not so good for Elric at this point. Oh, no! Okay, I need to go and put him back. Yeesh. Alrighty, uh, um... Yeah, Slade, go back out there. You can be awesome again. Whew. Yeah, that next attack would have killed uh, Elric. And we only had him for just the last bit of the... Ooh, I love that critical hit. And Barry's getting hurt. I don't have that much of potions left. Eric is now level 4. Awesome. Ah. Good. Good, good, good. Yep. Eric needs to level up. He he definitely needs it. But... I now have more money. But just a small bit more. Not enough to buy more potions. And I only have two potions left. I rather want to go and get... Uh, Alright, let's just head back to town, go to the Pokemon Center, and heal up. That's what happens when you spend most of your Pokeballs on other stuff. I probably even want to level up um, Elric anyways. Oh, 
Oh, um, like the previous episode of Breaking Blocks, which came out, I actually do like that you guys are liking the idea I build a Star Trek ship in a Minecraft world. Because it'll be interesting to see if whether or not I actually get to complete it, or do a good portion of it. I actually found technical schematics just for uh, the uh, ship in question I was going to do. And oh my god, there's a lot to it. <laughs> so I'll talk more about that in the Breaking Blocks video so I don't bore those who are interested in the uh, Pokemon game. Oh, well, hell, what am I thinking? I need another, uh... Uh... Yeah, here we go. Well, I only have three antidotes. I want to get another one. That's what I want to do. Hey, Richard. Richard wants to be in my lap, but that's fine. Oops. Ah! The Pokemart is over here. Yes, hi. Uh, buy my stuff. Uh oh, wow, wow. I did realize potions are 300. Okay, just enough for one antidote. I don't think I need anything for burn or paralysis he uh, conditions, as burns do tend to uh, be removed after combat, but antidotes, they last for like a long time. Old man's back. He just popped out of nowhere. Now, let's see here. Everyone healed up? Yes, they are. Okay, so now he's level 4. He should be able to handle himself from any Pokemon that's out there. Santa Tech would be a good one to have. I think he gets that, um, 7th level. Oh, that's right. There's an item I can go and get. Pikachu just kind of jigging about. There's an item. Oh, good, another Pokeball. Stop that, Richard. Yes, I know. You want to go om nom noms on my arm. No, oh, is this a trainer? Nope. Ran out of Pokeballs to catch Pokemon with. You should carry extras. Yes. Oh no, a trainer. I wonder if he's going to be using Bug-type Pokemon. Yes, I know. He will be using Bug-type Pokemon. It's Bug-catcher! He wants to fight! And it's a Caterpie! Well, Caterpies are that strong anyway, so I can actually go and take care of it. Ow! Ow, you asshole! Oh shit. Oh hell. Well, considering that Caterpie is already uh, faster and stronger than Elric, what the hell? Oh my god. <laughs> oh hey, that's a nice critical hit. Unfortunately, if that Caterpie does another critical hit, Elric will die. A very gruesome and horrible death by bug po Pokemon. So yeah, Slade, you go right ahead and just obliterate this uh, Caterpie as if it was uh, your meal. Jeez. There is that critical hit I was looking for. <laughs> Holy shit. Elric's now level 5. Good. And he, okay, level 5 healer and sand attack. Wait a minute, was this level 7 for red and blue that he was supposed to have sand attack and level 5 and yellow? That's the case? Okay. And then he's going to use a Caterpie. Let's get Elric out there again. And see about having him healed up. Yeah, let's heal him up. Yay. He's gonna need it. Oh, good. And just to make sure that you don't do that again, I'm gonna just sand attack you at least three times, so that way you don't get to do shit to me. <laughs> there we go. 
then it'll be an easy sweep. As I wanted it to be. Good lord. Ah, hell. Well, it lowers his speed, not his uh, accuracy, so that's a good thing. I always remember Viridian Forest as the place to get a Caterpie, a uh, Weedle, and a... Uh, as well as a few Pidgeys, as well as a Pikachu. But in Pokemon Yellow, that's not the case. There, you, you don't get Pikachus in uh, Viridian Forest. In fact, the Pikachu you have is the only Pikachu you will ever get. Oh, wow! Look at that! Jump to level 7. And he defeated Bugcatcher! Good job, Elric! You're now a permanent member of the team! No! Canopy can't cut it! Well, that's because Canopies can't learn cut. So, Elric is doing pretty good. Let's see those stats again. Oh, 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 look at that. Oh, he's going to be part of the permanent staff if he doesn't die. Alrighty, so, yeah. Good job. Alright, let's go ahead and continue on. We're still in pretty good shape. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah, duplication claws. Gotta beat you up. Sorry, bro. But I gotta beat you up! It's nothing personal. This trainer is an asshole. But yes. It's a gust battle! Who will win? Mine. Mine! Anyways. Oh no, it's another bug catcher. Whatever will I do other than beat his face with his dead Pokemon and steal his money? That sounds like a plan. Because he's not safe. Anyways. Oh, easy win. So this is an easy win. Oh yeah, because all Metapod's going to do is harden. How right I am. Though I am wanting a Caterpie because Caterpies are uh, turned into uh, Butterfreeze eventually. And they get Psychic and Gust. Which I love for the fact in later generation that Pidgeys don't get Gust automatically. They get Tackle. But Gust, if you transfer a Pidgey from Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow to Gold, Silver, and Crystal, and they have Gust, Gust is a flying type move. And you have a decisive stab um, advantage for it. Well, okay, you always have a stab advantage anyways, because Gust is Gust. You know, it's a normal and a flying type move. So there you go. And you're level 8. Yeah. He's going to use a Caterpie. Hmm. Well, Elric's been doing most of the fighting there, so let's go ahead and have uh, Slade go out and fight this Caterpie. It doesn't matter how many times Slade gets slowed down, Quick Attack, uh, Quick Attack, my mistake, has a priority. You know, you always strike first, unless another. Ooh, that would have been an awesome one-hit KO critical move. That would have been awesome. And boom goes Dynamite. Ooh, level nine. Okay, Metapod. Let's get uh, Barry out there. You know, let's get him to uh, do some uh, attacks. Yep. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Let's do a. Oh, well, he's only going to do do Harden, so I'm not going to worry about. It. And Thundershock has a chance, like a uh, a thirty percent chance for a uh, enemy to actually become uh, paralyzed. And even then, Barry's doing a fantastic amount of damage anyways. Problem is, I won't be able to use him against Brock. That's a problem. Huh? I ran out of Pokemon! Well, yeah, you only have three. Anyways. 
Alright. So, Slate is doing good. Barry is doing awesome. He's going to be a very valuable member of the team. Let's see. Trader Chips. Chips? Tips. Contact Professor Oak by PC to get your Pokédex evaluated. We're not going to be worried about that. Just give me a burp. Let's head up here. Uh, oh, pfft. ah, item. I found a potion. Actually, that's very important. There are 300 Poké Dollars. Okay, I'm just checking if there's any items up here. Ha, shit. All right. I'm gonna be the best. You just can't beat me. Let me guess, you have bug Pokemon. Because I'm a bug catcher. Yes, you are. Caterpie. Huh, at least it's a level eight, level eight fight. Yeah, thunder shock him. Make him a crispy critter for you to munch upon. Actually, wait, no. Pikachu's don't eat bugs. They eat uh berries and fruit. Ah, see, there you go. And can't fight because he is paralyzed. Good. There you go. And let's see here, Barry receives 90, and he is now level 9. Fantastic. Oh, wow. He's fast. Oh, that's right, yeah, Pikachus are fast. So is Raichus. Alrighty. And a Metapod. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let, uh, not Elric, but let's have Son Goku, uh, fight. He hasn't fought in a while. This is going to be an easy win for, uh, Son Goku. Well, he does need to get better stuff anyways. His scratches aren't really that good anyways. This Metapod knows tackle. Oh, fuck. Yeah, it's, it's a pointless thing to... Ooh, good, good critical hit. It's a pointless thing to do a... You know, a defense lowering move against a opponent who always is known for raising their defenses during the process. So it's rather pointless. And it only just lowers it by like one point. Not one half, one. And Harden increases the defense by one. So, yeah. And he learns low kick. That's fantastic. He'll be perfect against um, all the other. Um, yeah, he'll be perfect against uh, Brock because the Onyx is pretty heavy, so that would deal a lot more damage to Onyx than say a Geo dude. Hmm. After all I did, it was for naught. Yeah, because Son Goku is awesome. I am so grateful my sister gave me the idea of naming him Son Goku, because he is awesome. And, uh... Well, they have the same, de um... Stuff, don't they? Okay. I haven't caught a... Well, here we go. Alright, here we go, a Caterpie, a level 6 Caterpie. Ooh, wow. That means next level, he will, he will evolve. That's not a bad idea. To uh, have that. Okay, one more hit and then. Ow. Yeah, one more hit and I should be able to capture this Caterpie. Okay, so Pokeball go. Boy. Boy. Yes! Alright, we got ourselves a Caterpie. Or Caterpie, sorry. Whatever. Or it is Caterpie. What is that the IE the, the I in the name is actually kinda have the silent thing. Otherwise it is Caterpie. Which makes no sense. Okay, if you touch the feeler actually the real life creator a uh, critter, you know, the real life caterpillar actually does exist in real life. I actually seen one 
uh, when I was out in, uh, in, well, not in the Appalachian Trails, but somewhere in Kentucky. I do remember that. So, no, they do exist. Uh, yes, let's call him, hmm, well, let's see here. What shall we name Caterpie? How about we call it... Hmm. I really don't know what to call him, you know? Now that I think of it. Oh... I'm trying to think here. Let's call him Butter Pie. There you go. Butter Pie. That sounds, uh... Like a hilarious name that the thing is gonna say, Why? Why does it call me Butter Pie? <laughs> I'm not Butter Pie! I am Butterfree! You asshole! <laughs> Okay, let's actually heal it up. Yeah. Alright. I know I had to use a potion for that, but I'm gonna buy a heck of a lot more potions uh, down the road. So let's take a look. Ooh, wow, you're a really hardy Pokemon. And get decent speed. Okay. Well, actually, no, it's a good speed. Never mind. And, of course, yeah. So, I bet you Butterpie is going to uh, evolve when he hits next level because it evolves at level 7 to Metapod and again at, like, level 12 to become a Butterfree. Oh, that's a Pidgey. Aw, oh, you ain't gonna hurt me. I'm actually faster than this, uh, Pidgey. And if, if that move was actually a flying move, I would be dead. Critical. And you watch, it just does this massive critical that just wipes out Butter Pie. Ah, oh, jeez. Yep. Oh no. Jeez. <laughs> Shit. Really? God. I don't want to heal you. Uh, I don't want to heal your ass again. Problem is, I probably will have to. Oh, good. Thank God. Well, okay. I have another potion I can use. And I barely have enough money for another uh, thing. So let's go ahead and just heal up. Um, who to heal? Well, let's heal up Butterpie. And I'm not sure if I want to risk losing my uh, last potion for this. And of course, there's a Pokemon. Well, yes, there is another Pokemon. I was gonna say a train, a Pokemon trainer up there. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Well, let's find out. Yep. Oh yeah, yeah, that will hurt. Let's switch it up to a uh, berry. And go ahead, and he gets hit by Gus in the face. Well, that's okay. I'll just thunder-shock you back, and then you're just gonna be dead. It's super effective. Yay. Yeah, and of course, I get just enough money to be able to do... buy a potion. That's basically... that's what's gonna happen. Yep. But Catcher wants to fight. Alright. Caterpie! A level 10 Caterpie versus a level 6 Caterpie. This poor Butter Pie. Huh, you're not gonna live long. I know that for a fact. Oh shit. I was about to take a drink and I realized, ah, oh, no. It's like, it does a 16th of a damage. 
to the hit bar. I'm like, ah, oh, shit. Okay. Uh, everyone else is pretty looking bad. I mean, I don't want to throw Elric out there. He's at health, at half. Let's just throw Barry out there. He'll be fine. I got speed for day. Sorry, days. Awesome critical. Oh, fuck her. Stop slowing my berry down. Ass. Oh, you only had just the butter pie. I give, you're good at this. Hey, I got a hundred. I can buy another potion. After I head over to the uh, Poke Center. What do you want, old man? The bushes on the side of the road. They can be cut down by a special Pokemon move. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I know that. And I'm just going to head to a Pokemon Center because fuck this shit. Alrighty. Oh, that's right. There's a Jigglypuff here. Oh, that's right. Jigglypuff's uh, Japanese name was uh, Puri... Uh, Purin... Uh, Puri Purin. I keep forgetting how bad the uh, sound translation was for voice acting onto the Game Boy. I really have. Uh. Yes, I was drinking cold water for you guys wanted to know. Because this room of mine gets hot pretty quick. With right sunlight and whatnot. Aha! Here we go, Pokemon. I need to buy a potion. I don't need any more Pokeballs. I just need a potion. And yes, here we go. Oh, escape rod. A uh, rope. Yeah, escape rod. Sorry. It'll take uh, 300 uh, Poke Dollars. Ah, do it. And yeah, back down to 55 uh, Poke Dollars. Jeez, that sounds about a recurring theme. Well, I made a computer city. Let's save, and I'm going to do some grinding off camera for you guys. Of course, I'll be recording the entire time, but that doesn't mean anything, you know. It's only in case, say, one of the crew dies horribly during grinding because I'm a derp. Alrighty, guys, so... Alrighty, guys, so here we are. Got everything set up, ready to go, and got pretty much all the people set up except for Son Goku. And yep, he's looking pretty well, and he should be our forerunner in this fight. Oh, and I got Butter Pie up to be a Butterfree. <laughs> oh yeah. I think he'll do incredibly well against uh, Brock. So let's go ahead, head over to the gym. Because he is a uh, rock gem. He deals with rock Pokemon, usually. Or well, rock and ground type Pokemon. Pure City Gem, later Brock. Jimmy. Asshole Jimmy. To become a Pokemon champ. Huh. Oh yeah, ground type Pokemon. Okay, so he's the master of ground types. In this game, it was ground and rock for his Pokemon. Oh, who am I dealing? Stop right there, kid. You're still light years from facing Brock. Okay. 
junior trainer guy wants to fight. Oh shit, Diglett. Burn. Well, it's not gonna be an issue. Oh, I forgot to turn the animations on. Whoops. Ha, silly me. I was still grinding. I forgot to turn the animations back on. Oh well. Uh oh. Oh good, he leveled up. Sand shrew, huh? Um let's actually have uh butter pie deal with sand shrew. Yeah, let's do confusion. That's a good hit. Okay, looking good. Let's go ahead and confuse him one more time. There we go. Yay! Darn! Light here's isn't time. It's a measure. It measures distance. I'm so glad you noticed that. Ah. There we go. All right. So I finally have some money. But it's not enough for a potion. So let's heal. And then we finally face off Brock. And finish off this episode too. It's taking too long. <laughs> do, 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 do. Alright, let's go ahead and challenge you, Brock. I'm Brock, Peter's, uh, Peter's gym leader. I believe in rock hard defense and determination. That's why my Pokemon are all the rock type. Do you still want to challenge me? Fine, show me your best. Alright, Geodude. And low kick. Ooh, what a great hit. Tch, you can't touch some Goku. Alright, and Onyx. Ooh, low kick. Actually, no, don't change out. Low kick will be devastating against Onyx. Huh. Oh, okay, you use Bide. Well, let me use Leer. Let me use another Leer, and... Yep. Alright, low kick. And dead. <laughs> Actually, that went pretty well. Yay! Good job, Son Goku. Woohoo! I got... The Boulder Badge. Alrighty. This bear becomes more powerful. The technique flash can now be used any time. Ooh, good. Take this with you. TM34. What's that? Oh, okay, so wands. Right, but... Bide. Really? It's like rage, you know. I mean... 
the more hurt while the move's been activated makes it where... Actually, he just got done? Alrighty, so let's go ahead and heal up. Check our items here. Got five Pokeballs. I want to buy uh, five more. Yeah, five more is more than proper for me to do. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, I want to buy five more. Alrighty, so Pokeballs, yeah. Just want to buy... Oh, wow. Hmm. Okay, let's just say two more. And I need to buy... Three potions. Well, that's all the time I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry for this episode being so late, but... It is now done. So, until then guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.